Hey all, what's up my little coders? Let me show you in this tutorial how to solve the little question number 1796, second largest digit in a string. Basically, we are given an alphanumeric string, and we need to return the second largest numerical digit that appears in this string, or we need to return minus one if it doesn't exist. Again guys, it's the second largest numerical digit, not even a number, just a digit. Here's an example guys. If that's the input string, you may see here that we have only like 5 digits, some of them are repeating, and the largest one would be the digit 3, that's the largest one, but we need to return the second largest, it will be the digit 2. That's why in the end we just return 2. Here's another example guys, that's the input string, there are 4 digits, and all of them are the same, that's the digit 1, which will mean that like if it's the only one, it will be the largest one, and because that's the largest one, and there is no the second largest one, we just return minus one in this case, simply as that, guys. The problem itself is very simple, however, a lot of people are still struggling, because I can see that only 50% of the submissions got accepted. But don't worry, guys, let me just quickly write the code now, and I will go through it with you and explain you how to solve this problem. Just stay with me, guys. Okay, dokie my little coders, so here's our code, very simple code. Basically we just first of all defined two integers, integer a and integer p. Integer a is just to keep track was the largest digit, was the first largest digit in our string, and integer b to define to just keep track was the second largest digit in our string. That's basically the value which we're going to return in the end, because that's our task to return this value, the second largest digit. Okay. We will iterate through all of the characters, so uh, input string to char array. Then, because we don't care about the values which are not digits, we just will check if the current character is a digit. Here's the building function which does that. If it is a digit, we, will, we would go inside this if statement and would do some stuff with that. Basically, because we know that it's a digit, we would get the numeric value of the current character, then we would check if this current digit is greater than our integer a. If it is, it means that like we found the new current largest digit in our string and we would update the value b and value a. So because you know if you found the new largest value it means that, that like the previous value now becomes the second largest value. That's why b is equal to a and a is equal to x. So second largest is equal to the current first largest but because we found a new largest then like the current first largest is equal to the current character. And else, else if, because we might get a case when, for example, we found the digit, the x value, which is not greater than the a value. So it's not like the new largest digit, but it might be the new second largest digit. That's why we just would check if the x value is not equal to a, and at the same time, if it's greater than the b value, so if it's a new second largest digit, we just would update our p value, and that's it basically. So we'll iterate through all the characters and we'll do this like if, else, if, and in the end we just would return b. If, for example, there is no second largest digit in a string, because by default b is equal to minus one, it would mean that like we would not update our b value if there's like no second largest digit, and we would just return minus one. Or if there is a second largest digit, we'll find it out and would update it somewhere here. Simply as that, guys. Okay, let me just run the code. Let's see if it actually works. And it does. Let me submit. Perfect, guys. One new second, almost 100%. Simply as that. So, the problem is quite simple, but yeah, for some reason, a lot of people are still struggling with that. Because only 50% of the submissions got accepted, but yeah, anyway. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please give it a like and subscribe, challenge your friends to see if they can solve this question or not, and I will see you next video guys, good luck!